Hey guys, welcome to our workspace tutorial. And today I'm going to show you the most important UI elements and how to use them. Let's start with the toolbox. The toolbox provides you with all the nodes your actual Ventus version provides and is sorted by categories. Down here, you can change from the toolbox tab to the animation tab. I'll talk about animations later, so just remember where it is. Also, the next tab, you'll find the text editor, where you can change the text in, for example, this slide over here to whatever you want. And whenever you encounter problems that seem pretty weird and you don't know what happens, go to the messages tab. Here you can see all the error messages and you can also sort them out by fatal errors, errors and so on. And it's most likely the best place to look at if something goes wrong. Also notice that you can double click those messages and Ventus will guide you directly to the place where this message is uh, thrown. The last tab is the shader editor tab where you can write down your HLSL shader code. So down here you have the render window uh, where you will see all your changes in real time. So like I just changed the fonts or whatever. So you can interact with your scene here and see what it actually does when you change something. Also take a look at those little icons over here. For example here you can turn the wireframe on and off. You can take a look at the render statistics. You can take a look at the bounding boxes, switch to full screen or activate the in render edit mode which you will most likely know from usual 3D authoring tools. And you can take screenshots to the clipboard or to a file. In the hierarchy window, you'll find all the nodes that are part of the render process, like axes, geometries, textures, and all that. Note that the render order will always start here on the top left. So this is rendered first, then this, 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 and so on. Next to the hierarchy window, you'll see the content window. The content window contains nodes like events or nodes that have directly to do something with uh, changing values or generating values and all that stuff. Also note that content nodes like this one always have uh, their brackets in this uh, orange and on the top and the bottom while hierarchy nodes have their brackets on the left and on the right side. You can see this also in the toolbox, so you always know where to drop them. The next window is the properties window. Here you will see all the properties a node has, and we divide it by inputs and outputs. And this mover is already running, but you cannot see the output values. This is because we don't monitor the values. So you can turn this little feather on and you'll see actually what the node does. So this is a pretty common mistake. People think the node is dead or something, but most likely you just forget to put this button on. Last but not least in the top tab, under file you can load, save, export, import your scenes. Under edit you'll see the common shortcuts which you can use in the hierarchy editor. Under view you can turn your windows on and off. And also here you can reset your window settings. For example, like this, if you mess the UI up, you can go to window layout, reset. And note, you'll see some other shortcuts you can use in the hierarchy editor. Under renderer, this is pretty much what I already showed you down here. Tools are pretty interesting. Here's the scene statistics you can see how many nodes you have in total and all that and where they are you can double click them and Ventus will guide you through them and of course the help so that's it so far for this tutorial and i hope you enjoyed it and in the next tutorial we'll talk about notes